Hello YouTube, it's Carl here again with another Splatoon weapon test. This time we're testing out two of the new ones that have just come and we're going to be starting off with the Ink Brush Nouveau. Now don't laugh at me, I have no idea if I'm saying that correctly or not, but that's the first one we're going to be starting with, the Ink Brush here. So well, this is what I usually do, I stand on the first line and I just uh, wave away and I just go for as long as I can. Let's just uh, see how long the ink will last and it gives us a good idea as the weapon range. So starting from the first line, it's gone one, two and a bit, almost three, or two and a half lines. Now that's not exactly uh, too bad for an ink brush. That's the kind of thing that you would be expecting. But uh, obviously the range was low, but the painting speed in this is maximum. You're not gonna get any faster with a brush. This is the fastest brush you can get. And lightness is the other statistic for it, which is also maximum. So this has to be one of the greatest weapons statistically out there. Maximum paint speed, maximum lightness. Now the sub weapon, I showed that off before, comes with mines, which is one of my personal favorites. But you don't really need to know that though, do you? And uh, the special is the bubbler, which is also very handy. Uh, especially, I'm not sure if everyone's actually aware of this, but you can pass it on to your teammates. I know they showed that off at the very, very beginning when Splatoon was uh, announced, but a lot of people seem to forget. If you've got a bubbler, push down on your directional pad, not on your analog stick, push down, say, call me, you know, come here, call your teammates, get them to run over, so then you can pass the bob more on, and then you're, uh, hopefully you'll have a whole team of invincible inklings. Yep. Cool, so that was the uh, the ink brush. Yeah, uh, uh, uh. yeah, see, as you can see, it's not uh, exactly very powerful running into people, so you're going to have to slap them in the face with it. Yeah, so anyway, that's the ink brush. Now let's move on to the next one. That's the range blaster. That one's going to set you back 8,000 uh, inkling currency, dollars, whatever, coins. And uh, we'll go back to the first line here and fire away. Okay, so it's it's it, it does a lot of painting. It's going to be really good for for turf war, uh, but the fire rate is very very low. As you can see, it's taking its time, and uh, well, ink actually didn't run out as quickly as I thought it was going to do. But uh, range was uh, wasn't too bad. The impact apparently is is one of the other statistics. Is uh, it's quite high, just a just a little over of a half and uh, the range was just a little under half mark there. And sub weapon, as you just saw there, is the splash wall. It's a good uh, defensive type weapon there. You throw that in front of you and then people, your uh, opposition, cannot shoot through it, but you can. So that's uh, always good. And your ink strike for your special weapon there. That's uh, another personal favorite of mine. And, uh, oof, yes. And that fire rate is extremely low. You're not going to want to stand there with someone else that's got a rapid, rapid fire. But then you are going to be doing a lot of damage, so you're going to have to make sure each one of those counts. Yep. Boom, boom. So that was that. The ink brush, five thousand nine hundred, and the blaster, eight thousand dollars. Are these uh, your types of weapons? Uh, I'd love to see you out on the battlefield with them. But uh, don't take me out, because uh, I'm trying to rank up. Alright guys, have a good one. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more, just subscribe.